to Dratech Australia. My name is Roy Panetta. In our last video I showed you how VPN load balancing will improve your inter-office communications. In this video I will show you how to set up a load balanced VPN trunk between two sites as shown in this diagram. We will start by configuring two IPsec VPN profiles in the head office bigger 3900 router. Go to VPN and Remote Access Land to Land Configuration menu. Click on Add to Add VPN Profile. We now enter the required details. We name this profile VPN1. Enable it and select Always On. Now select Authentication Type to PSK. Enter the Appreciate key. Select WAN1. Enter the local IP subnet which is 192.168.1.0. Enter 0.0.0.0 for local next hop. Enter remote router WAN IP address for remote host. Enter remote branch office network LAN IP address details. Now we click apply to save the settings. Leave advanced settings at fault values. Now we enter GRE settings. Select enable this profile. Enter the local and remote GRE IP addresses we had previously allocated. Next we enter IKE proposal settings. Now we repeat this procedure for the second VPN profile. We will call this VPN2. Once we have completed the VPN profiles, they should both appear in the list as we can see here. The next step is to configure VPN load balance. We go to VPN and Remote Access VPN Trunk Management Configuration menu, select Load Balance Pool and click Add to add VPN Load Balance Pool Profile. Now create Profile Pool 1 and click Apply. Select Profile Pool 1 and click on Edit to configure this profile. Select Load Balance tab to, and select the two VPN profiles, VPN 1 and VPN 2. Now click Apply to Save and select Load Balance Rule tab and click Add. Enter the required details. Now select Load Balance Pool previously created and click Apply. Now the Load Balance Rule has been created for the Head Office Router. Now that we have completed the configuration of the Head Office Router, we will start configuring the Remote Office Vega 3200 Router. Here we also will need to set up two IPsec VPN profiles. We will start by going to VPN and Remote Access Land to Land Integration menu. Click on the first index to add a VPN profile. We now enter the required details. Enable the VPN profile and give it a name. Here we used 3200-VPN1. Set call direction to dial out and always on. Select IPsec tunnel for dial out settings. Enter the head office router WAN IP address which is 10.10.10.1. .10 Enter IKE pre-shared key for IKE authentication method.
and select high ESP DES without authentication for IPsec security method, TCP IP network settings. We enter the remote network IP of 192.168.1.0 and its netmask. The local network IP will be 192.168.10.1. In GRE over IPsec settings, enable IPsec dialout function GRE over IPsec and enter my GRE IP address of 10.0.0.2. address of 10.0.0.1. Click on OK to save. Now we configure the second VPN which we will call 3200-VPN2. The setup is similar to the first VPN except that here we select WAN2 and we enter the relevant IP addresses for WAN2 connection. The last step is to configure VPN load balance. We go to VPN and remote access, VPN trunk management configuration menu. We go to general setup, select enable and give the profile a name. Here we call the trunk one. Now we select the two VPN profiles and assign them to member one and member two and select load balance for active mode. Now click add to save the settings. We now see the VPN trunk listed under the load balance profile list as shown here. Now if we go to VPN and remote access connection management configuration menu, we can see the VPN profiles are up and running and in load balance mode. I hope this video will help you set up your own VPN load balance connection between your sites. You will be able to have VPN tunnels over multiple WAN connections and thus have larger network pipes between any two sites. This also provides redundancy should one of the WAN connections fail. If you require further information, please visit our website www.dratech.com.au or send an email to support at dratech.com.au.